Six world powers are trying to reach a settlement to the decade-old standoff over Iran's contested nuclear program. On Wednesday, talks between the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, along with Germany, and Iranian officials entered a second day. But as CCTV's Natalie Carney reports from Vienna, many challenges lie ahead before the creation of a long-term agreement. These talks have been called substantive and useful. The Iranian foreign minister began the second day optimistically, saying that a comprehensive agreement within the next six months was not unrealistic, but would require, quote, some innovation and forward thinking. Diplomats from the six world powers agree. The most important thing is that the agreement is a good, solid and watertight agreement, and that will take time. Clearly, the quicker we can do the negotiation, the better, but the, the end result must be a good end result. What they don't agree on is a laundry list of technical issues. Amir Mehdi is an Iranian journalist who has been covering Iran's nuclear issues for the last five years and says the talks have become more complicated since the interim agreement was made in November. Geneva was considered much more positive than the current talks because after that, conservatives, especially the Israeli lobby, and uh, the U.S. Congress started to put pressure on the U.S. government. That's why we see a change in atmosphere, which makes the talks more complicated. Iran has already showed enough goodwill to the international community. While the six world powers have yet to define their precise demands, it is clear they want Iran to cap its uranium enrichment and allow international inspectors into a suspected nuclear testing site, which is a restricted military facility. In return, Iran expects the U.S., the European Union, and the United Nations to lift painful economic sanctions. However, recent discussions in Washington about the possibility of additional sanctions have led Tehran to question the seriousness of the U.S. commitment to a long-term agreement. Meanwhile, China's chief negotiator says confrontation or pressure by either side will only undermine the negotiation process, and he urged Iran to take substantive steps to curb its nuclear program. The Iran nuclear issue has perplexed the international community for more than 10 years because it is related to the peace and security of the Middle East region and the whole world. Talks are scheduled to continue on Thursday. While the Iranian foreign minister brought optimism to the table by saying a long-term agreement is achievable in the next six months, the challenges that lie ahead are complicated. The framework hoped to be established in this round of talks will work towards addressing those challenges in future negotiations. Natalie Carney for CCTV in Vienna.